I know how hard it is to stay on top of everything. Without a solid system, you feel overwhelmed and disorganized. I get it. I used to be there, but I've created a foolproof system using Asana and Google Calendar that I use daily to make sure I know exactly what to work on and when, and it really helps me to get everything done in a short amount of time. If that sounds like something you need, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm all about helping you save time and mental energy in your online business. If that's your jam, if that's what you're into, if that is something you would like to learn more about, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn the notification bell on so that you're alerted when I create when I upload new videos and please like this video if you want to see more like it and help it get out to more people so that they can learn from this as well so many business owners struggle with this and they struggle to know exactly what to be working on and when and when they're gonna get stuff done and then things get pushed back and they don't get things done or they can't keep track of everything and everything is just a mess and they don't know what they're supposed to be working on and I totally get it uh, I used to be like this but now I'm really great at planning so that I know exactly what to work on and when and I'm getting things done in a short amount of time. My days are really short because I only work when my daughter is in school or camp. So I really need to be efficient with my time and this helps me so much with that. But it does take practice, solid systems and dedication. So please watch this video, learn from this video, but then go implement what you learned so that you actually use the system. Okay, let's get into it. I'll show you how I do it. All right, so there are two main parts to my productivity system. The first one is is task management using a task management software, a work management, project management, whatever you want to call it. I use Asana, as you can see on my screen. And the second part is using an actual calendar. So I use Google Calendar for time blocking. When it comes to task management, it's really important to have somewhere to keep all of your ideas and to do's, all the tasks that you need to do. Um, and it should be as easy as possible to write new things down, like in Asana it's super easy. There's so many ways to add a task, right? Asana is so user-friendly. And you should be able to see your day or week or month laid out however you prefer to see it. I prefer um, to see my week and then I plan week by week. So on Fridays, I'm always planning the next week to make sure all the tasks are laid out that I want to complete. So when I'm looking at my next week, when I'm planning, I am going through and making sure these line up with the things in my calendar. So in my calendar, it's really important to uh, for me to block out my time because I have client work, uh, I have meetings, I have like different types of client work. I have my retainer online business manager clients. And then I also have my Asana setup clients. And then I have things to do in my own business. So it's really important for me to time block my work so I know exactly um, what time I have available to do those tasks that I have set up in Asana. So I would go in to Google Calendar and I would lay out my week. So I like to start my day with... Um, my own business work. So what I would do is, so say this is time to do projects. So I'm going to save that um, and say I want to do that actually. I want that to repeat uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday every week. So I do have these like recurring ones set up. So I'm not working from scratch each time. I'll show you my calendar, but I just want to show you how you can set it up initially. Uh, so then I want to have this time be for client work and I would like look at how many hours I have and really like plan it out each day. Um, you can also set the repeat right in here. So say that is a daily one. So there we go. And then I will have my lunch break. So we can even schedule that in if you want to make sure to take that hour for lunch because I know it can be hard to not and to want to like eat at your desk and things like that. So we will also schedule that for every weekday. And then in the afternoon, let's say um, I need to do more client work. And then I have maybe a half an hour here for learning. Like I want to, you know, I am in business co courses. I want to, you know, read a business book, something like that. So we can also do that for every weekday. And then for the last half an hour of my day, my day currently ends at 3.30. Um, while we're in the summer here, this would be for emails. Then on Tuesday, Thursday, let's say this is time for YouTube tasks because I have a lot of those these days. So now I have my full week. These are uh, these are my working days and I have it all planned out. So then what I can do is I can go back to Asana and say, okay, so 
I have Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for projects. So any projects that I have are going to land on those days. So say I'm creating my course, Asana Essentials. So I want to work on that. It's already created, <laughs> but say I was creating it again, we will put that there. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday, I'm looking into this new app I want to check out. Uh, so that's one that, that would fall under like a kind of projects and then I also want to maybe you know work on module one of Asana Essentials and then on Friday I work on module two this is just like obviously it probably wouldn't go exactly like this but you get the idea and then um, each day I have a half an hour for learning so I really want to um, plan that out and make sure that I know exactly what I'm going to be learning so that I don't spend that half an hour looking for something to learn, right? You want to have it already planned out in your Asana so you know exactly what to do with a link if possible as well right within that task. So for me, like I actually have like this education section. So I would probably, well, I would just pull a lesson from there and I would assign myself a due date for there and it would appear here. But for the purposes of this video, we will just um, say watch specific lesson, right? Okay. So um, you would write the name of the lesson there uh, and then put a link in the description right here so that on that day, when it's that time for that time block, you only have a half an hour. So you're going to just quickly click on this and then click on the link and get to it really maximize your time within that half an hour. On Tuesdays, um, we have YouTube tasks. I actually have a recurring task for Tuesdays and Thursdays to work on outstanding YouTube tasks. Um, and then what I do is I go into my YouTube um, project and I can see what I need to work on in there. That's just how it's easiest for me. But um, say you have specific things for Tuesday uh, and you want to you know, create your thumbnail on uh, Tuesday and edit video right on Thursday and these would be color coded hopefully in red my YouTube color is red um I won't show you all all the all the planning but you get the idea then you can see in your calendar so when you get home from dropping your daughter off at camp <laughs> like me um or whatever it is you're doing in the morning you sit down to get to work you look at your calendar and say okay it's time to do projects so then you go to Asana you go to your my tasks and you look for the section that is or the task that has to do with projects so you are going to outline Asana essentials. Perfect. Now you can just get right to work. You don't have to think about what you need to do. It's already there and planned out for you. So that is how my process works. I find it works so well. It really keeps me on track of things. It keeps my day flowing. It makes me really efficient in getting things done because I'm not spending time in my day planning what what task to do next, right? Or wondering what I should be working on now. It's already all planned out for me the week before. I have actually a time. So you would also add a time in um, your calendar here for planning for the next week um, on Friday or maybe you want to do it on the weekend whenever. Okay, so here is an example. Um, oh, I need to be done YouTube recording or like right now. <laughs> but here's an example of what my week looks like this week because uh, this week was already planned out. This meeting actually was here, got moved. So just picture that there because that's where it was um, when I planned this week and you'll see I have everything um, planned out. So I have my YouTube planning. I have CW is client work. I just don't want to type it out each time. Um, and then I have my check emails, just like I showed you. I have my meetings. Um, I have all of these different things. I have time for like content creation. Yeah, that's how I plan my tasks and my work and make sure that I get as much done as possible in the little amount of time that I have to actually work um, at this stage in my life. All right, there it was my system. I hope that that helped you so much. Please go try it out. Let me know how it went for you. I would be super happy if you shared with me how it's working for you once you try it. Comment below what questions you have about this system or anything else you would like to know. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have or create future videos on this topic. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. <laughs>